Today I want to test your knowledge regarding Magic the Gathering. Are you up for the challenge? Oh, geeky magic! So here's the deal. I'll present to you with a tricky scenario, set it up the difficulty, lay out all the facts, and then give you a mere 10 seconds to come up with an answer. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to ponder. Once the clock runs out, I will be revealing the solution along with a detailed explanation on how it all unfolds. So, ready? Let's start! Imagine we're in the midst of a commander game. It's Anna's turn and she's just unleashed the mighty questing beast, setting her sights on Noah. Now, Noah is not pushover. He's got a legion of saplings on his command but he's also sitting on a precarious 5 life and 5 poison counters. But wait, just as Anna's about to deal the final blow, when Noah casts his triumph card, the fairy's protection in the declare attacker step, my permanence and I will face out, he declares. Before damage, Anna casts Tainted Strike on her questing beast. Is the first protection still the salvation or the doom for Noah? That's the question. The time is now. And time's up. The verdict is no one loses the game. But why, you may ask? Well, let's break it down. First off, there's one golden rule that I always give in all my classes. That is read the freaking card or RTFC for sure. However, to keep this and future videos family oriented, we're going to lend a phrase from the professor at the Talarian Academy that it says, reading the card explains the card. The first protection may seem like a get out of jail free card, but it's not quite the impenetrable shield some people think it is. While it phase out Noah's permanent, it doesn't remove him from the game entirely. He's still there, just shrouded in protection. But what exactly does protection entail? Think of it as an acronym. Depth, meaning damage gets prevented, equipment are lost, blocking and being blocked is restricted, and targets are off limits. It's a powerful defense, but not without its vulnerabilities. Now onto the questing beast. This beastly creature boasts an impressive array of abilities, including the crucial one, that it says Combat damage that will be dealt by creatures you control can't be prevented. And that's the key to Noah's downfall. Even though the first protection tries to block the damage, Questing Beast ability overrides it. Noah may not feel the sting immediately, but the damage is already done. And adding Tainted Strike to the mix, even if Noah's life total wouldn't change, suddenly Noah's poison counter sky rockets, sealing his fate. And there you have it folks, another intricate interaction from the game on reveal. Did you manage to crack the code or is this challenge actually led you stump? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share it with your fellow magic enthusiasts. Together we'll continue to grow and learn as a community. That is once being said, thank you for tuning in and until next time, May your draws be lucky and your spells be swift. Happy gaming! Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel for more Magic the Gathering content. Also, turn on notifications to be up to date. Until next time, happy gaming!